What's good guys, I am happy to present you with the Ultra Beast GX uh, Premium Collection. I have wanted to open this for about two years, because um, that's when this was released. Um, they're not there anymore, I used to use this shop which was called the Geek Lab UK. Shout out to Linda, shout out to um, everybody who used to work there already. Don't know what happened guys, let's get back into this unboxing video. But yeah, I have been wanting to open this bad boy up for about two years now. Um, <laughs> I wasn't able to get hold of one because they only sold these in America. And to have it imported over here, due to the weight of this thing, it was just ridiculous. So I decided not to buy this. I could have bought this online for a really expensive price about a year ago now. But decided not to buy it. Shout out to... I'm just going to call him Matt Pokemon because um, I don't like revealing anyone's second name or giving away anyone's information that they don't want to have revealed. But really cool guy. Um, we've been trading cards for like what, probably over a year and a half or something now. And um, the reason why I wanted this was, as you can see, my mat. I love this mat and I'm never going to get rid of it because it means so much to me. But it's getting a bit tired now and I, need, I needed another one. Now inside of this box, there are... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight booster packs to open up. There are two promo cards. There is a large oversized promo card as well. And there's also the Ultra Beast uh, coin just by here to open up. So even just looking at the packaging of this, just like, like let's just appreciate this packaging for a second. Like this is beautiful. Um, this is something I've looked at for a very long time. He actually had both of them available. Shout out to Lucas Santana. Thank you for joining the video. And shout out to uh, whoever else is in the video. I think it's probably Matt. <laughs> but um, this is the other side of the box. But uh, yeah, he had both variants. I believe there's only two variants of this. So let me just show you the back of the box. Just, to, just so you can see what it says. The Ultra Beast strange creatures from another dimension have come to the Alola region as powerful Pokemon GX. So that lets you know that the Alola region, obviously... Uh, Sun and Moon, Ultra Sun and Moon. This is back in the days when I used to actually still use my DS. This is probably around Crimson Invasion sort of set time. So to just give you a time period. Um, da -da -da -da. This collection brings these creatures directly to you with special promo cards of two Ultra Beasts and a playmat <laughs> features um, featuring the new Pokemon. A premium collection showcasing these otherworldly Pokemon has slipped through the Ultra Wormhole Catch it while you can. Each Pokemon TCG Ultra Beast GX Premium Collection box features Faramosa and Celesteela. Um, it includes eight booster packs, two foil promo cards, one either being Faramosa or Celestina. We got both. Um, a foil oversized card featuring an Ulster Beach of Faramosa. An awesome playmat to show off your Ultra Beast. A cool Faramosa coin and a code card, obviously, for the box. I... Um, I'll probably give away code cards maybe at the end of this video. I might uh, potentially leave it until the end. And just to show you just here, this is where it came from. It came from Costco's. Um, so there you go. I don't know if this was bought on bulk. I really do not care. I'm just so happy that I've been able to open this up. Um, as you can see, I've got some other stuff in the background. That's for another video. But just to show you, this will be the second video that I do, which is the Copper Jar V box. Uh, shout out to Matt as well. He was the one who sorted this out at a reasonable price for me. Um, I'm going to open that up in another video. And as an added bonus, I forget the name of these. I think they're called Sky Legends. But it's a Tag Team GX Japanese pack that he gave to me. Um, just because he's a nice guy. And I was really happy about this one. So without further ado, we're going to open this bad boy up. If you are in the video and you are someone that's new in the video, don't forget to leave a like on the video as it helps me out tremendously. As I'm trying to come off working basically and just be a full-time YouTuber, which is pretty much the dream, guys. Um, I'm just so glad that Pokemon has become so popular as it has. Um, I really don't like people like Logan Paul and all these idiots who are now jumping onto Pokemon where they have no interest in it. Um, but that's not what we're here for today. We're here to open this up. I'm going to go grab some sleeves for a second because i got a feeling I'm going to get some decent pulls. So I'll be back now. Um, share the video around as well if you want other people to see this. Okay. I'm going to show you guys what I've recently pulled as well. So...
guys may have seen the other day. Uh, this was the EV from the V10 I recently had. I don't know if this is actually worth anything. Um, but this was the bad boy we pulled the other day. Now look at this. Interleon V Max. Very happy about this. So we'll the rest we better open this bad boy up and we just find some small sleeves. Okay, so uh, I think I've just run out of sleeves. Um, oh well, let's get into this. Uh, if you are new here, leave a like on the video. And I'm going to stop rambling and we're going to open this bad boy up. As um, another guy who sold this to me hasn't opened any of these yet. And uh, I know he's probably in this video right now to see if I'm getting that Zard. Which is fine. It's something we agreed on. I'm really going to need a knife. Wow, they've got some good packaging on this. Uh, shout out to Snipe Shot, shout out to 1X Torchia, shout out to Lucas Santana, shout out to Matt, um, big up to Leech, whole type raps, uh, shout out to Naps, also who else? Um, Omega, sorry, Planet Omega, who's been a long time supporter of mine, big up to you. Oh, sorry if I butchered the pronunciation of your name, dude. Um, at least you got a shout. <laughs> okay. They really package this one well. I'll give them that. Sometimes when you get, like, the packaging for these, it's not that good. Sometimes the packaging is loose. Also, I want you guys, if you open um, Darkness Ablaze packs, Sword and Shield, let me know, do they feel loose? Every Darkness Ablaze pack that I've opened has felt loose. Wow, just look, just look at this, wouldn't it? Outside of the cellophane, it's just beautiful. Oh, cool, I could actually keep the box. Oh, that's so cool. I thought it was one of the ones where you have to destroy the box. I can actually keep this box. I like this box. All right, so... Let's see, let's take... Let's take everything out for a second. I only did that just in case there was... Hold on, I'm just going to look on the back to see if there's a code card because there's supposed to be a code card with this box. Yes, there is, so I'm just going to take that out as uh, I'm going to give away the code cards probably in another video so that's one okay so let's take everything out just to show you so I have had this one before this is the Faramosa GX Ultra Beast um, promo oversized cards which is SM66 no dude if you've come here for codes just go away <laughs> simple as that you get codes when I give them away. My channel is run by me. It's not run by people telling me what to do. So if you have come here for codes, please leave because you're not going to get any in this video. I'm giving them away in the next video. And if you do decide to actually hang about and not rush me, you'll have even more codes. Do not rush me to give away Pokemon codes. So <clears throat> eight packs, Sun and Moon, Guardian Rising. First one, Crimson Invasion. It's the next one, XY Evolutions. <laughs> Hope we get something decent in that one. Sun and Moon base set. Sun and Moon burning shadows. Sun and Moon crimson invasion. X Y fates collide. 
XY Roaring Skies. And it's just how they put these promo cards in here, man. Look at this. Like, look at that. Just look at it. Ugh. But it's just how the box, it's just how they're inserted into the box. There's nothing you can, like, literally, there's nothing you can do. But, yeah. You can't help that. <clears throat> that one's a bit better. Obviously, you can definitely see warp into it, but definitely a lot better. These are both promos as well. This is the SM67 promo for Celestina GX. And this one is the uh, Ferro Mosa GX promo card, which is SM66. This feels very premium as well. We're going to have a look at this in a second. But last but certainly not least, we have the uh, Ferramosa coin just here. Very beautiful coin. Very happy with this one. Never actually pulled this one before, so I, I actually have a tin that is just full of these coins. Um, so yeah, another one to add into my collection. Let's get rid of some packaging for a second. Um, I'm never going to need this again. Or this. Um, I will keep that box though, because I like just the box. Um, seems stupid, but I will keep the box for that purpose. Okay, so let's get on with opening up these boosters. And if you are new, don't forget to leave a like on the video, subscribe to my YouTube channel, turn on post notifications, because that way, uh, you know, I can tell that you appreciate the videos that I've been coming up with. And I will continue to open up more Pokemon Booster Packs on my channel. So, I think, I don't know, should we do these, should we do these in oldest to newest, or I don't know what's the way that we should go... Okay. Oldest to newest. Uh, whew, now I've got to try and think which is the oldest. But before we do that... Oh, I don't like... Oh, that's fine. I thought they put tape on it. I was going to say, why have you put tape on this? So, that comes off as so. Just going to have to scoot all of this back a little bit. Sorry that you can hear my washing machine in the background. I live a normal life. Oh, look at this. This is beautiful. This is beautiful. Sound. What are you on about sound? Right, if you can't hear me, type that you can't hear me. Because... Yeah. Yeah, sorry that you can hear the sound of my washing machine. I live a normal life. But look at this. What are you on about? The sound is muted. What? How is the sound mute? Hold on. Let me see. Is the sound been muted at all, guys? Okay, if you're experiencing any problems with the sound, I'm sorry, but, well, ain't nothing I can do. Anyways, let's go in order. So, let's, let me see, how would I do? So Sun and Moon was there. That one goes there. Guardian Rising goes there. That thing goes there. Now, what was older out of these i can't remember guys i need to put these in order let me know what the order is so it was like it was like that was x y fates collide first i can't remember 
Rayan, whatever your name is, just leave. I'm not giving away codes. Like, if you come here for codes, they aren't being given away in this video. So you're really wasting your time by asking me every two minutes, do you have any codes? Yeah, I got codes. But you're not getting them until I decide to give them away. There's a code. Look at it. It's brilliant. Um, right. Evolutions. If you like Pokemon, go to www.pokemon.com to check out all their latest and greatest products. So this one was a green code, so there's nothing decent in this one. But let's see what we got anyway, because there are some beautiful card arts, because these are basically reimagined of the old ones. Shout out to Snipeshot. Thank you very much for actually reiterating what I've just been trying to say throughout this video. Nidoran, 60 health points. Um, also, these versions actually have the level, which is obviously XY Evolutions, not the originals. Um, 60 health points, as I just said, Poison Pin Pokemon um, has a move of Double Stab. Its large ears are flat like wings. When it listens to distant sounds, it extends toxic barbs when angered. Ponyta, 60 health points, level 10 Pokemon. It's a Fire Horse Pokemon, dex entry of 77. Nidoran's dex entry was 32. Smack, Smash Kick is its move, which does 20, and Flame Tail is its other move. Its body is light and its legs are incredibly powerful. It can clear um, Aya Rocks. Aya Rocks? Aya Rocks in one leap. I don't know what an Aya Rock is. Drowsy, 60 health points. Um, level 12, Mystic type Pokemon, two moves, one a pound, and the other Confusion Ray. A descendant of the legendary animal Baku. Which is said to eat dreams. It is skilled at hypnosis. Baku is actually a rapper as well. That's weird. Uh, Electabuzz, 70 health points. Electro type Pokemon, obviously level 35. Dex entry of 125. Hypno. Um, Drowsy's um, dex entry was 96. So, anyways, Thundershock, one of its moves, the other move is Thunder Punch. It loves to feed on strong electricity. It is occasionally, it will occasionally be seen around large power plants, and so on. Vulpix, 60 health points, fire-type Pokemon. It's a fox Pokemon with a dex entry of 37, one move of Confusion Ray, level uh, 11. While young, it has six gorgeous tails. When it grows, several new tails are sprouted. Oh, nice. Nidoran, 60 health points. I'm not going to read for all the information again because we've done that one before. Rat cake, put a rat cake on. Put rat cake on the basic Pokemon. As a mouse Pokemon, two moves: one a crunch, the other a shadow bite. I'm not going to read through all the information. Trainer item switch, coffin, and a revive. So far, we've opened at one pack, and our pull has been the Nidoran, but. Hey, we got two promo cards, got a promo coin, a large oversized card as well. We got the play mat. I'm, I'm really happy to be fair. All right, let's go again. Let's go for Fates Collide this time. Got a legendary on the front, Gold Lugia. As I keep saying, if you want to find out more about Pokemon, you need to head on over to www.pokemon.com to check out all the latest and greatest products. This feels really loosely packaged. I've got a good feeling about this. I don't know why, but I do. Ah, that wasn't supposed to happen. Well, that's a that's a mistake. They should never be like that. What the? That's weird. That should not happen. Sorry about that. Fennekin, sixty health points. Fire type Pokemon. Obviously, it's a Fox Pokemon. Dex entry is six hundred and fifty three. Uh, Will o' Wisp is one of its moves, and its other move is Tail Whip. Seal, looking like a CGI version. 80 health points, water type Pokemon, sea lion Pokemon, dex entry of 86 with a move of icy snow. Diglett with one move of ram, generation 1 Pokemon, it's a mole Pokemon, dex entry of 50, 40 health points being a rock type. Snivy, 60 health points, grass type Pokemon, one move of block which does 10 damage, it has a dex entry of 495. Coffin, 60 health points, mystic type Pokemon, um, dex entry of 109, it's a poison gas Pokemon. And it has a move of division. Now we have Wormadam, which can also 
be different types. It doesn't always have to be a rock type. So this is a bagworm Pokemon. Has a dex entry of 413, 110 health points. This version is a rock type. Uh, two moves, one of Twin Burst and the other a Sand Spray. Put that just up there. Uh, Mr. Mime up next, 80 health points. And that is a barrier Pokemon with 120 as its dex entry. Has an ability of Mimic and a move of Juggling. Trainer item, Mega Catcher. Alakazam Spirit Link Trainer Item. It's actually a useful tool to have. And Fossil... E oh, wow. I remember when I had the gold card of this about several years ago. Fossil Excavation Kit. This is a beautiful card. I love the card art for this one. Um, that's one of the other things as well, guys. The, the reason why I got into Pokemon... I, I love art. I love art. You do not understand. I really do love art. Um... And that's another thing that drew me into playing Pokemon as a kid. I did not know any of the rules. I didn't even really understand the game. I just loved how the Pokemon looked. Um, so yeah, that's probably one of the reasons why it drove me to the point of uh, like collecting. These old packs are ridiculous, man. They put the code cards the wrong way. So for example, like this is green and white. But it was facing that way. It shouldn't be facing that way. It should be facing the other way around. Maybe that's something they used to do in all the packs. I don't know. But anyways. So, so far, what? Four. Halucha, 80 health points. A lot of people like this Pokemon. Um, it's a wrestling Pokemon. It, it just reminds me of, like, Lucha Libre. Um, two attacks. One of Tackle and the other of Midair Strike. Obviously, it's a rock-type Pokemon. With a dex entry of 701. And yes, it's even listed as a wrestling Pokemon. Barnacle, 60 health points. Rock type Pokemon with a dex entry of 688. It's a two handed Pokemon with two moves one a Mud Slap and the other a Sand Attack. Inkay. Now, this is pretty funny. You can actually get a Meowth and it's in the opposite direction. So the Meowth is stealing from the Inkay. And this one, the Inkay is stealing from the Meowth. Obviously, Darkness type Pokemon, uh, 50 health points. It's a revolving Pokemon, a dex entry of 686. It has two moves, one a side beam and the other a rip-off. Uh, Voltorb, which is a ball Pokemon with a dex entry of 100, being a Generation 1 Pokemon. Of course, it's an electric type, having a name like Voltorb with 60 health points. has two moves. Sorry, has one move, a bit of explosion and ability of Thunder Wave. Gligar, 70 health points. That's a rock-type Pokemon. 207 is its dex entry. It is a fly scorpion Pokemon and it has a move of stun poison. Worm Wormple is like the newer version of like Caterpie. Cool card, but this Pokemon is very useless. Um, especially if you play the games, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. 265 worm Pokemon. Um, is it well 265 of his dex entry obviously it's a worm type pokemon being called wormpool 60 health points being a grass type and there's an ability of flock and a move of tackle what huh they gave me a that don't you've just seen that that doesn't make any sense they gave me a green and white code card for this what go and check back over the video you see me open up all the packs they're all sealed what the hell? That is the only time in existence that has ever happened to me. That I've opened up a pack and I've not pulled a decent... Like, not a decent card. It's still a good card. But I've not pulled a card of a better rarity on a green and white code card. That's crazy. Um, Shininja. This Pokemon has actually been banned uh, from a lot of tournaments because of its ability. Um, Curse Rain and Hopeless Scream are its moves. 30 health points, obviously, being a grass-type Pokemon with a dex entry of 292. And it's a Shed Pokemon. That's... That's mad. Go in. Yeah, that's really weird. Uh, Tropus, 110 health points, being a grass type Pokemon. It's a fruit Pokemon with a dex entry of 357 with two moves, one a solar beam, and the other a stomp. Honestly, man, I, I'm baffled. I am baffled. I've never seen that happen in my life. Shout out to Matt. I've never seen that happen in my life. Um, but we all seen it happen in life. <laughs> Uh, trainer item Mega Turbo. Attach a basic energy card from your discard pile to one of your Mega Evolutions. And last but not least, a Man a Trick. 
uh, 90 health points being an electric type Pokemon. It is a, what does that say? A discharge Pokemon with a dex entry of 310. Um, an ability of random spark and a move of bite. So, uh, yeah. But that, that was weird. I'm not going to lie. That was very strange. But so far, we've opened up, what? Well, we started off with uh, XY evolutions. Yeah, I know that is crazy. Um, then we moved on to... No, then we moved on to Fates Collide. Then we did Roaring Skies. So now we're on to just Sun and Moon across the board. So I guess we better get into it. And let's keep on going. Like, it just seems, I don't know, that just seemed a bit mad. Right, Sun and Moon Base set. Let's see. Pokemon, you need to employ me. Okay. Green code card. Check that by there. Okay, pick a peck, 50 health points. Uh, Woodpecker Pokemon, dex entry of 731. One move, a rock smash, and that's a normal type. Sparrow, Generation 1 Pokemon, it's a tiny bird Pokemon, dex entry of 21, 60 health points being a normal type, and it a, has a move of peck bugs. <laughs> pretty, that's pretty self-explanatory. What does this move do? It pecks bugs. Um, for Mantis, 60 health points being a grass-like Pokemon, has an ability of synthesis and a move of leafage. Synthesis is actually a really good ability. Um, dex entry of 753, it's a sickle grass Pokemon, more lull. 60 health points, dex entry of 755, it's an illuminating Pokemon, has an ability of flickering spores and a move of ram, 60 health points being a grass type, Skomori, 110 health points, I actually like this Pokemon, um, 227 is its dex entry, it's an armored bird Pokemon, it's really good if you actually play competitively, uh, metallic sound is its ability and its move is aerial ace, ah, that's cool. I don't think I know this card isn't like an amazing rarity, but I don't think I've actually pulled this one before, so that's cool. Um, trainer support a team skull grunts. Your opponents reveal their hand, discard two energy cards from it. You may play only one supporter card during your turn before your attack. Nice. Put that just up there. Uh, Incineroar, which is the full evolution of uh, Litten, which is the fire starter for Sun and Moon, Ultra Sun and Moon. It is obviously a heal Pokemon. With a dex entry of 727, 160 health points being a fire type with two moves, one of Fire Fang and the other of Darkest Lariat, I believe. Sorry if I've got that wrong. Fire type energy for today. I think this is like the first energy card that we've actually pulled. The last couple of sets uh, didn't have energy cards. Palippa, um, Evolution of Wingle. It is a water bird Pokemon with a dex entry of 279. An ability of Courier and a move of Fly, obviously being a bird Pokemon, otherwise, what is it? Um, and it's a water type with 100 health points. And then we have Trainer Item Pokeball. Flip a coin if head, search your deck for a Pokemon, reveal it and put it into your hand, then shuffle your deck. And last but not least, I like the card art for these ones. Um, Hypno. It is a hypnotize, Hypnosis sorry, Pokemon, dex entry of 97 being Generation 1. Two moves, one a Hypnoblast, the other a Meditate, 110 health points being a Mystic type. So, uh, let's hopefully we can get some, we can get some people. Okay. Green code card once again. Starting this off, we have Stapple. Flailing Pokemon, dex entry of 759. Has an ability of baby doll eyes and a move of tackle, which does 20, 70 health points, being a normal type. Pan Sage, 70 health points, and that's a grass monkey Pokemon. Dex entry of 515, has an ability of vine whip. Um, and as I said, it's a grass type. Kragonk, 60 health points, it is a toxic mouth Pokemon with a dex entry of 453. Two moves, one of corkscrew punch and the other of frog hop. Um, and it is a mystic type Pokemon with 60 health points, as I said. Pikachu, uh, fan favorites for a lot of people. Um, mouse Pokemon. So I'm going to teach you something new. Okay. Right. You see just here, Pikachu is 25. I will bet money that if any of you 
Go and look at your cards. The dex entry for Meowth is 52. Because Pikachu and Meowth are based off Tom and Jerry. That is a fact. 100% a fact. I've heard the creator say that himself. They were created, they were inspired by Tom and Jerry. Hence why Meowth is on is the bad guy on Team Rocket and Pikachu is the mascot for the good team, essentially, as in Ash, Misty, Brock. Um, but yeah, that is a fact, in case you didn't know. Uh, Tailwap, Thundershocks are, is, its, are their, uh, is the muse of Pikachu. Mouse Pokemon, Dex Entry of 25, 60 health points being an electric type. Panpaw, which is a spray Pokemon. Obviously, it's a water gun move that it does with a Dex Entry of 515, 70 health points being a water type Pokemon. Hoot Hoot, 60 health points. It's an owl Pokemon, has an ability of see-through and has a move of Peck, obviously being a owl type Pokemon with a Dex Entry of 163, being a normal type. We have a Weevil, 90 health points, evolution of Sneasel. It's a Sharp Claw Pokemon. It has an ability, a rule of evil. That sounds really bad. This attack does 60 damage to each Pokemon that has an ability, both yours and your opponent's. Don't apply weakness and resistance for bench Pokemon. That's actually a really good card. Hmm. Um, it's actually uh, putting a deck together. So this might be one that I put into that deck. Um, and it has a move of Slash. Obviously, Darkness-type Pokemon, 90 health points. Oh. Metal Tripe Energy. Uh, Wishful Baton. Metapods. It is a Cocoon Pokemon with a Dex Entry of 11. Obviously, being from the Generation 1. Two moves, one of Ram and the other of Shed Skin. 80 health points being a Grass-type Pokemon of a last card from this set is bodybuilding dumbbells i remember i pulled the gold card of this probably about a year maybe two years ago i was so happy when i did um beautiful card 113 out of 147 this stage the stage one pokemon this card is attached to gets 40 plus health points pretty cool so um not amazing pull so far but i'm i just gasped i'm so happy that i was actually able to open this up because i never thought i'd I thought I missed my chance about two years ago to actually be, be able to get hold of one. So shout out to Matt for this one because um, yeah, he blew my mind away when I seen that he had these. I was just like, dude, I need one now. <laughs> okay. And let's start this off with Clefairy, 60 health points. Obviously, Generation 1 Pokemon. Uh, Dex Entry, of 35 Fairy type Pokemon. Two moves, one a Slap and the other a Follow Me. 60 health points being a fairy type of Boach. Whiskers Pokemon, Dex Entry at 339. It's a rock type Pokemon. 60 health points, two moves, one of Hook and the other of Mud Slap. Tavana, 50 health points, water type Pokemon. It's a savage Pokemon with a Dex Entry of 318 and it has a move of Bite. Fletchling, 50 health points, tiny Robin Pokemon. Um, normal type Dex entry of 661, has an ability of Growl and a move of Flap. Litwick, 50 health points. It's a Candle Pokemon with a Dex entry of 607. It has a move of Flicker in Flames. Um, and obviously, it's a Fire type with 50 health points. And then we... That's weird. Look at this. I'm not going to go through all the um, everything again. You know, it looks near enough exactly the same. Um... Oh, is that me? This version is more red. That's more orange. That's weird. Maybe it's just to make the shine uh, look a bit better. But yeah, we've a uh, shiny Fletchling. Alolan Sandslash, 110 health points. Has an ability of Slush Rush and a move of Smash Turn. Um, it's a mouse Pokemon with a dex entry of 28 from Generation 1. Rock. I'm um, sorry, I was just about to say rock type energy, metal type energy. Symbol I, 60 health points, darkness type Pokemon. It is, well, and it is a darkness Pokemon. A dex entry of 302, an ability of limitation, and a move of scratch. Gotharita, 60 health points, uh, dex entry 575. It's a manipulate Pokemon, evolution of Gothatia. Um, two moves, one of slap, and the other of Psybeam. And last but not least, we have the trainer item Field Blower. Choose up to two in any combination of Pokemon tool cards and stadium cards in play 
yours or your opponents and discard them you may play as many item cards as you like during your turn before your attack 125 125 out of 145 um we will recap at the end and go through everything that we pulled but i'm glad that i still have that copper jar v max box to open up um i still have the japanese pack to open up as well so you know it's not all doom and gloom maybe we save the best till last that's the thing with pokemon cards you never actually know until you open up the packs you could end up you could you could buy singular boosters right and they could all be green and white code cards or you could buy a booster box and they could all be green code cards. Well, it's very unlikely that is to happen. What I'm saying is you have to participate to be part of uh, being the chance of winning, should I say. Ooh, green and white code card. Ooh. I'm trying to think what was good inside of uh, Crimson Invasion. There was quite a few uh, decent cards inside of Crimson Invasion. So let's start this off. Hounder, 60 health points, darkness type Pokemon. It's a dark Pokemon with a dex entry of 288. Has a move of rear kick and another move of darkness fang. Uh, Dino, 70 health points, darkness type Pokemon. You can just see the Pharaoh in the background of the uh, card art. That's pretty cool. It's quite blocky, this uh, card art as well. I like the um, illustration of it. It's an irate Pokemon. has a dex entry of 633. It has two moves, one of headbutt and the other of surprising attack. Carablast, 60 health points. It has an ability of Shell on and a move of Peck. Um, once during your turn before your attack, you may discard a Shellmet from your hand. If you do, search your deck for a card that evolves from this Pokemon and put it onto this Pokemon to evolve it. Then shuffle your deck. 588 is its dex entry and it is a Clamping Pokemon with 60 health points being a Grass type. Jang Moho. 60 health points, it's a dragon type Pokemon. It's a scaly Pokemon with a dex entry of 782. Two moves, one of headbutt and the other of gentle slap. Mankey, 60 health points. It's a pig monkey Pokemon with 96 as its dex entry. Has a move of three step strike. And it's a rock type Pokemon from generation one. Stuffle. And as you've seen, Stuffle is also, also a normal type and a rock type. Has a move of flop. It's a flailing Pokemon with a dex entry of 750. 59, 70 health points being a rock type. Ooh, type null. Nice. I pulled this bad boy before, but it's a beautiful card still. So type null, which is a synthetic Pokemon. 110 health points being a normal type Pokemon. Two moves, one of armor press and the other of slashing claw. So the heavy control mask, it wears, suppresses its intricate intricate capabilities this pokemon has some hidden special powers nice electric type energy for today psychic memory which looks like it can be used with uh, type null to turn it into Silvalli. Uh, this silva the Silvalli gx this card is attached to is a psychic pokemon oh maybe it changes its type Mill Tank, which is actually a really strong Pokemon because of the move rollout. If you've played it against this Pokemon in Game Boy or Game Boy Advance games or even some of the later games, it can literally sweep you if you don't take this Pokemon out. So do not be fooled because it looks like a cow. It will kick your ass. Um, Milk Cow Pokemon is the type of Pokemon it is. The dex entry is 241. 100 health points being a normal type Pokemon. Has an ability of Moo Moo Malt and Sit Down Splash is its move. Kakuna, Generation 1 Pokemon Evolution of Weedle, uh, Dex Entry of 14. It's a Cocoon Pokemon, 80 health points being a Grass type, and it has a move of Multiply, and that is it for that pack. So we have one pack left to open up in this, and then we're going to recap out of everything that we've got. I'm just going to get rid of the cards that we didn't pull from this set, because I don't want anyone to think that I pulled an Interleon VMAX from this set, or I pulled the EVV, because the EVV, as you can see here, that's a promo um that i got i've got like two of them and last but not least the peace devil easy stones um <laughs> sun and moon crimson invasion pack let's see what we got also shout out to matt pokemon because he was the one who made this all possible green coca through that by there so let's finish this up 
Cubone Generation 1 it is a lowly Pokemon, has an ability of Leer, has a move of Headbutt, 70 health by its rock type Pokemon dex entry of 104. Mankey Generation 1 Pokemon, dex entry of 96. Pig Monkey Pokemon, move, 3 step strike, 60 health points, rock type Pokemon. Salandit, 60 health points, mystic type Pokemon, um, has a move of Singe. Matt, if you ever decide to make a store or anything like that, um that where you want to sell pokemon cards from or whatever anything like that just let me know and i will promote it for free in my videos because matt has been an unsung hero for a lot of my youtube videos where i have been able to strike a deal with him get some pokemon packs and stuff like that and you know the way i see it is he's helped me i help him and that's how you create a good relationship anyway uh st stinge is its ability toxic lizards pokemon is its type 757 is its dex entry, 60 health points being a mystic type Pokemon. This is my one of my hated Pokemon, Spoink. <laughs> it's a bounce Pokemon with a dex entry of 325. Splash um, is the type of move that it does, and that only does 10. Uh, 50 health points being a mystic type. Carablast, 60 health points, an ability of Shell on, and a move of Peck. It's a clamping Pokemon with a dex entry of 588. And we pulled a Kakuna. Um, 80 health points, or is the Generation 1 Pokemon Cocoon Pokemon, Dex Entry of 14, and Ability of Multiple. Wigglytuff. Up next, we've got a very scared-looking Weedle in the background. Um, it's a Balloon Pokemon, Dex Entry of 40, two moves, one of Hypnoblast, and the other of Punishing Slap. 120 health points, that's a Fairy-type. Fairy-type Energy. Laeron, Evolution of a um, Aeron. 100 health points being a metal type it's an iron armor pokemon it has two moves one of metal claw and the other of hammer in and then trainer item dashing pouch and last but not least uh trainer item fighting memory so we're gonna now run through all of the cards that we pulled i'm gonna take a bit of a break because i, I haven't even eaten my tea yet uh, my tea is actually over on the side cooling down and then i'm gonna come back and open up um i'll open up the copper jar pack and that one i don't know whether to open up that now or maybe leave it until later so in no particular order well let me show you everything that we all the packs that we opened up first of all before we decide to go through and run through all the cards that we have had so so far there was eight packs inside of this box there was this very beautiful um play mat which i'm this is the thing that I was gassed over the most. I really like this playmat. I think it's beautiful. So, obviously, it came with some promo cards, right? Faramosa being one of them. Yeah. Uh, Celestina being one of them. They're not as bad as actually what I thought they were, to be fair. Um, Faramosa GX as well. Oversized promo card. So, that came with the box and also the Faramosa coin. And as I said, this beautiful playmat. So we then opened up, first of all we opened up this XY Evolutions, then I believe we moved on to XY Roaring Skies, then XY Fates Collide, then we opened up a Sun and Moon base pack, which was then followed by Guardians, uh, sorry, Guardians Rising, and then the Burning Shadows, and then we finished this off with Crimson Invasion, and this was the last Crimson Invasion pack that we opened up. Now, they're the pulls, I'm going to go through them in a second, these are all the regular cards, so... Um, Trainer item fighting memory, trainer item dashing pouch, Leron, Mystic, I'm um, sorry, Fairy type energy, Wiggly Turf, Carablast, Spoink, Salandit, Mankey, Cubone, Kakuna, Mill Tank, trainer item psychic energy, electric energy, Mankey, Jangmoo, Carablast, Dino, Houndor, Gotharita, uh, Sibylai, Alolan Sandslash, Litwick, Fletchling, Kavana, Barboach, Clefairy, uh, trainer item Field Blower, Two metal type energies, a fire type energy, bodybuilding dumbbells, trainer item, metapod, a wishful baton, trainer item, weevil, pampor, pikachu, krogonk, uh, fossil excavation kit, trainer item, alakazam spirit link, trainer item, mega catcher, trainer item, mr mime, coffin, snivy, diglet, that was a seal, uh, fennekin, Trainer Revive item card, of course. Coffin. Trainer item switch card. Rattacake, Electabuzz, Vulpix, Drowsy, Ponita, Nidoran, Pan Sage, Snuffle, Hypno. Trainer item Pokeball, Palippa, Incineroar, 
Skamori, Morlo, Fomantis, Spero, Picky Pack, Train Item, Mega Turbo, Tropus, Sheninja, Gligar, Voltorb, Inke, Barnacle, Halucha, and Ming, uh, sorry, Man Ectric, I believe. They were all the cards that we have pulled for today, all the normal cards. Now let's go through the pulls so you can see everything that we pulled for today. And I will show you what we have. So I'm going to leave that one till last. So Kakuna, Stuffle, Fletchling, uh, Hoot Hoot, Trainer, Supporter, Team Skull Grunt, Wormple. Or Madam and a Nidoran. And the best pull that we got today, not included any of the promos because they're not pulls, you get them obviously with the box, was this type null. I have pulled this previously in the past, probably about a year and a half ago, maybe two years ago now, but still very happy to get this. Co cards wise, I'm not giving them away, so if you are hanging about until the end to get co cards, then well, you're going to be sadly disappointed. As I'm not going to give them away right now. I'm going to give them away in another video because I am really hungry and I need to eat. Um, so there are three green and white code cards. One came with a box. Let's count them out. So one, two, three. Three green and white code cards. And one, two, three, four, five, six green code cards. So nine code cards in total that I'm going to be giving away at some point just not right now they'll probably just be in another video um if you have enjoyed watching don't forget to leave a big like on the video and in the next one i'll be opening up a copper jar v box big shout out to matt big shout out to everyone who has viewed um i'm gonna go eat some tea thank you for watching have a great day and don't forget to subscribe if you are new here